1869, Helvetia was formed. Um, settlers, Swiss settlers came through here. Well, it says Swiss craftsmen, but you can read the sign as I'm standing here talking and yapping. But we are in Helvetia. And Helvetia was formed in 1869 here. I don't know, was it even West Virginia yet at that point? When yeah, West Virginia became a state in 1863. 63, okay. So, yeah, I'm from Pennsylvania. I know my some of my West Virginia history. Well, apparently not that part. Well, I knew it was 1860-something. At least I did know that. Well, yeah, well, good. See? Yeah. <laughs> so we are in Helvetia. There we go. Yeah. Which is on the way to Pickens, West Virginia. And we have the Helvetia. What is that? Star Band Hall. Yep. You're right. You can pronounce that one. Star Band Hall. Yeah, good job. I can say it real fast too. Star Band Hall. You can say it backwards. Hall Band Star. Oh, you're going to be long. Rats. 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 We can say that one. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey right. Dave! Hey what? You know, I'm looking up over there. See that right there? Yeah. You said we could make a short stop? Yeah. You may be very right on this one. Yep. That's not looking real pretty at the moment. You can't really tell on the phone, but yeah, that looks ugly. And it looks like it's getting closer. <laughs> we may have to run for cover for a we little bit. We actually may be recreating each western. Yeah, that looks Pretty. And yeah. it is getting closer. You can tell it's getting closer. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so twister, possible. Well, I don't know about, hopefully. Well, like I said, from a distance, I wouldn't mind getting some pictures of a tornado, but not necessarily. Not, yeah, but not with us in it. Right, no, I don't want to be in it. But, what's this restaurant called? Do you remember? No. Oh, well, what good are you? The Hoot, Hoote, Hut, something. I'm, I'm sure I'm killing that, but... Uh, Swiss restaurant. Oh, it smells really good right here. Flowers and something. Pine. Um, but, yeah, this place is here. It opens at 12. Um, it is obviously not open today. On a Monday, of course. So, uh, it would be cool to eat there. I think try some of their food. I, I have. It's actually pretty good. I oh, sorry, you have eaten. Yes, I have. And it's it's actually pretty good. Here's the thing about it. One one more caution. Come down here to eat. Don't come here expecting to pay pay with plastic or anything. You only take cash. Nice. Or maybe checks. That would be hey, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> so the hoot hut hute, however you say it. Uh here in Helvetia. Oh, I love this right here. <gasps> Yes, I'm getting a picture of this. Okay, so here's the back side of the, I'm not gonna even try to murder the pronunciation. We'll just call it the hut. <laughs> they got outside dining, the hut, Swiss restaurant, pretty cool. Real quick, show you. Today would be a beautiful day to be outside sitting out here eating, cause it's cool, it's overcast, stormy. Wait a sec, we just told the, our, the viewers that there's just, it was getting really nasty weather coming in. You say it's a beautiful time to eat outside. Well, it was, because there it is, because look, it cleared up. Yeah, that that nastiness can... disappeared. It can come back. So it must have went that way, which is a good thing. <laughs> Didn't come at us, because that was not looking pretty, because the winds were picking up too, so. That is pretty around what this direction is coming back over. Yeah. The Cotler? Not even gonna try that Weiler boot and shoemaker. This used to be a boot and shoemaker. It looks like there's still stuff in it, which would be cool to see. And then of course the country store in and post office and Fosnot Mask Museum. No idea if I pronounced that right. I have no idea, you do. All right, so what are we walking down into now? We're gonna walk into some of the old parts of, of Helvetia Plus. Well, people don't realize there's actually bed and breakfasts here. Like over here, you can actually stay here. Oh, like in this, yeah. And I I've actually stayed in there. The ceiling's very low. Um, so you have that. So this building right here, that's an actual. I'm pretty sure this is one of the actual yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if the upstairs over there is the one to or not. I, I don't know. You gotta show the waterfall real quick. 
Nice little waterfall. So. So yeah, we're looking at the old side. Honey Haas. So I'm assuming they, I don't know if they still do or not, but at one point did honey in here. We're just gonna assume that. There's the cheese house. So that one was honey, that one was cheese. There's the fire, we could smell it. Didn't know where it was at and here comes more rain. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna stand right here underneath this tree for a little bit because now it's really coming down The fire yeah, we can do inside the fire. Oh boy Well earlier Dave you saying oh it blew over. Yeah, well it blew back. Yeah, mother nature blew it right back at us And we're standing underneath a tree. And it's not helping anymore. It's not really helping. We're getting wet now. We look like a bunch of fools standing out here in the middle. <laughs> All right, we're back in the car. And we're right back where we left off before, you know, the downpour hit. So there's the cheese house. Yes, and it was actually, they actually used to make cheese there. Yeah. So we're gonna just gonna kind of do a drive through down through here instead of walking. Because as you can see, it's pouring out there. Is this one of the... That's a trash can. Well, yeah, there's a trash can. There's another little house. So that's it. I said it's it's a small little community. There's actually people that live here still. It's not like it's a, an abandoned place or anything. There's another little... Yeah, I don't, this is the art studio. Okay, this was an art studio. Or is an art studio. Uh, art studio and gallery, the sign says. It does look like there's some stuff going on in there. So we are at the Zion Presbyterian Church. Worship, Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Which... This is a Monday, so we... Yeah, no service today. But this is pretty cool. I've seen a couple... I mean, Ed got a picture of this the last time we came through, but I was like, ah! I'm looking at it with the steps in front of it like this and the backdrop. We'll see. There's the library and school, which we're going to make our way over. It looks like it's actually open. So it could be kind of cool to get in there. But first, they have a museum. Kind of showing what it was like historically here. Not that. Hey, I'm historical. I'm yeah, you are historical. He is old. I mean, nah. So pretty cool. Let's see. That's uh, actually really, really cool in here. I mean, it's like being in a, yeah. This would be like a glimpse of how they lived back in the day. I mean, they got, maybe not with the glass cases, but very historical. And I like how they got the little baby's crib. They got the bed over in the corner. I mean, this is literally how way back when people lived. They lived in cabins like this and they were one room cabins. So. I don't think they had the red and white uh, tablecloths back then, but.
That was absolutely perfect timing. <laughs> I literally turned the camera on and boom, the church bells went. Yeah, is that what it is? Is that what, I don't know. There's more. But there you go, fitting ending to Helvetia. So Ed. Yeah. Did you figure out what those flowers were down there? No, I have no clue. Okay, we stopped to check out the flowers. That's our story and we're sticking to it. Exactly.